a new dawn in what is now Labour's Britain. And this place tells the story of the nation. It illustrates the clamour for something better, where lives are moving forwards, not back. Claire used to be a GP. She now creates art in the sand. I am excited about it. I think something fresh for everybody is about to begin and that can only be a good thing. Change, is always, or change always brings something positive. It is always, in the end, very simple. An X in the box and one big statement of intent. Because of all the, the performance with the Conservatives, um, it really was ridiculous. And uh, we just hope that the Labour Party are for the working class and that they can put into place what they've said. The Conservatives have been kicked out. Yeah. What do you make of it? Salted. Yeah. Really? Yes. Tell me about it, why? I'm just glad they haven't been in too long. I wanted reform. I didn't even want Labour, I wanted reform <laughs> yeah. to win. It's been in such a rut, the country, that it's going to take a lot to get out of it, so you've you kind of just got to go with what's happening and hope for the best, basically. Labour did win this seat. Reform surged into second. It's a new start, a new government, but the enthusiasm for it all seems somehow to be missing. More than half of the voters in these towns didn't even bother to turn out. There's no trust in any of them. That was the reason we didn't... We, I haven't voted this time. There's no excitement, I don't think, in, in, in either of the parties, what anything they had to offer. Despite the apathy, Labour has redesigned British politics. But there's a lot that needs fixing. That's amazing. Yeah, yeah that's a, a lot of skill. And it's who you voted for yesterday? Yeah. What do you think needs to happen now? This is a big moment. I think, I think the government need to listen to what people want. I think it's important now that they build that relationship back with the wider pu public, because that's been lost, I think. So I think that's the main thing, listening to what we actually want and what we actually need. Whether they wanted him or not, Starmer's service of the people starts now. Tom Parmenter, Sky News, Cleethorpes.